Aquarius, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Aquarius, what do you need to know about love? What games have we got for Aquarius in love? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also watch them if you purchase them on my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. The best price would be from, hey Gary, from Patreon there. Aquarius. I have an alarm about to go off on my phone, so I don't know if it will keep recording or not. We'll see, and I do apologise when it happens. Alright, Aquarius. I forgot to switch it off before I started recording and I just remembered. So, you may possibly take this out, it resonates. You might have been perhaps. So, this is Nine of Cups in reverse. This is not what I wanted, is kind of what I'm catching from. This is not wish fulfillment. This is the opposite. This is, well, especially when coupled with the Two of Swords. That can be like a decision, it's very confusing, not knowing what to do. I don't feel like this is you, I kind of feel like this is the other person. I feel like you're very much... You're very much in this energy where you're you're still in love with this person, you you still have deep feelings for this person. They, on the other hand, feel quite the opposite. They just don't know what to do about it. So why is the Ace of Pentacles in here for what you need to know right now? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you believe that this is what you and them had, but I sort of wonder if you're pro projecting yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that at all. You felt like it was, but it, it wasn't, there wasn't the connection that you wanted to have with them. That was the lovers in reverse. It, it's not a good card. Can, can you get that? Did, did you get that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's, it's not a great card. To be honest, I mean, it, it, it has its, if I really push myself as a reader, I can find pros in, in the cons of that card. <laughs> I really push myself, but I kind of feel like, not in this case, this is, um, I think the reality of what this really is is going to hit you pretty soon. The... the goodies that you gave this person, their character, the, the good stuff that you kind of projected onto them, weren't real. This is going to hit you pretty soon if it hasn't already. There. It's like they're very good at making people see, not just you, they're very good at making people see what isn't there. <laughs> A lot of words are coming out like, like a narcissist, but, uh, when you know when you say that, you sort of picture someone who's 
a terrible bully, uh, cruel. I don't think that that's what this person is. Like I said, the alarm went off. Sorry. I don't think that that's what this person is. I don't think they're a terribly cruel person. I, I just think that they have a way of turning people around to what they want, what they're saying, uh, so that people can believe that, believe great things about them that aren't true. Make people do work for them, like do their bidding. Easily. And they don't have to do anything <laughs> to make that, to make the, well, this is like the, uh, the fruits of, of your labor. They don't really have to do an awful lot to, uh, get those fruits. Which labor going into it? All right. Anything else, Libra? Libra. Are they Libra? I'm just on Libra. Anything else Aquarius needs to know right now? Yeah. Don't lose this. I'm gonna say this now, but please don't lose this energy. It's so lovely. You kind of, you kind of threw yourself into this. You like you like you wore your heart on your sleeve, and you you just you know, you're like an open book, and you're just like, wow, love, yay, let's go, and that's lovely. Don't lose that because it's it's just it's just lovely. It's a lovely pure energy. Don't let this muddy that. It's like you weren't what they wanted, but they wanted to get what they wanted first. And you just have a lot of belief in this relationship. I kind of feel like they were looking for greener grass. Not realizing that the grass they already had with you was Pretty green. About as green as they're gonna get. They wanted something else. I think you're kind of about to, if you haven't already, see that this person is not as great as you thought they were. So what's coming up in the near future? After the battle, when the dust is settling, excuse me, hiccup. Yes, 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 yes. After all this, I was saying don't lose that wide-eyed, lovely energy of the fool. But I see that I see that that's what happens here. This is where you finally yeah, you start setting boundaries for yourself and you say, I, I, I'm not going to let people treat me like that anymore. I'm not going to fall in love so easily. I'm not going to let... It's like you're going to avoid people that are, <laughs> I don't know. The argumentative type. Just for the sake of it, just for the sake of an argument. I do sort of feel like you might not have realised it, but that's a lot of that was going on here. You're wrong and they're right, even though it might not have been the case. 
this is what's coming up for you this is you know your energy is that you're you're gonna lose that lovely innocence of the fool and you're you're gonna find your boundaries and stick to them that's great A part of me is sad that that what movie is that from? I think it's from Rebecca, um, Alfred Hitchcock. That sort of losing that look in your eyes, that playful, fun look in your eyes that that they fell in love with, or, or you know, I can't remember. No, tell me in the comments below. It's like, yeah. After having your heart broken so badly, you, you do sort of seem to lose that, that innocence and... It's not a bad thing in a way, because you have a strength after that. That means no one's going to take advantage of you again, and you distance yourself from people that are like that, that are like... The Emperor in Reverse, just... I'm in charge. I say what goes. You're always on the back foot. You're going to distance yourself from people like that. And if this is a relationship that isn't over yet, trust me, it is. I see that right now, the energy right now is that you still want this and they don't. I mean, take it how it resonates. It could be the other way around, but... This is that's going to change pretty quickly and it's it's going to end for you and, and you're going to realize that this it wasn't really what you wanted all along. You were just trying to make something work that it just wasn't possible. I'm read the outcome here. It's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to read this and I'm going to take it to the extent where I'm going to ask about this person how do they really feel about you what are their intentions towards you what do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe let me check the time so I have to do a school pickup why is it Knight of Pentacles here in reverse You <laughs> outcome I kind of like it actually what what comes from this is there's a part of you that's gonna kind of like in the near future sort of feel like well I'm not gonna get stuck in that situation again and it's almost like you kind of change your type what you've kind of gone for in the past you're like no no I'm not I'm I'm you know, again, it's gonna not gonna be easy because you're gonna be like, oh yeah, they're hot, but no, they're that type. That was my chair squeaking, by the way. Totally, hundred percent. I'm not lying. It actually was. I can't make it do it again, but it did squeak. It was not a fart. It actually wasn't. That's not me, like sort of looking like yeah, it was. No, it actually wasn't. It actually wasn't. Shut up! <laughs> it wasn't. Nikki, if, if Nikki was on the show, I'd be like, yeah, no, it was Jen. I, this time, I know I usually lie about it, but this time I mean it. I shouldn't cry wolf. I feel like in the near future, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm changing my type. I'm not going to go for the same kind of person anymore. I'm going to... If that person comes along, I'm just going to be like, no, thank you. Yep, that's totally hot, but no thank you. <laughs> All right, what else have we got? A change of scene, I think. It's always nice. I need to stop falling for musicians. You know what I was thinking? It'd be nice to fall for someone who's like a vet. And then we could buy a big house in the country and open up a 
sanctuary for animals. Wouldn't that be lovely? We could have beehives and, and a sanctuary for animals and, and uh, oh well, might be for me, but it's for you. Believe in the impossible. That's not impossible. So yeah, I can change my type. Not a rock star. Maybe someone who I could have that life with, because that, that seems like a kind of idyllic life, right? So what would you rather go for? Let me know in the comments below. What do you usually go for and what do you think you should go for now? And your song of the day. Yeah, beehive song, yeah, beehive. And chickens. I'm a vegan, but hey, let's get some chickens and then, then you know, I can have an honesty box and sell eggs from my garden gate. Wouldn't that be lovely? Cause there's this tune I found that makes me think of you somehow And I'll play it on repeat Till I fall asleep Spilling drinks on my settee Do I want to know by the Arctic Monkeys? Thank you for joining me. See you later.